YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this sort of uh, chidori effect uh, for your awesome Naruto videos. Now, what's going to be happening soon is Monkey King 44 after Christmas is going to be producing a Naruto battle which will have some absolutely immense effects like this. So, hopefully that's going to be cool and you should check that out. But first, on how to make the chidori. So we're going to start off by making a new composition, so composition, new composition. Then you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it as comp2 for now. I would make this comp quite big because you want to be able to fit it in any sort of image you want. So I'm going to go for 2000 by 2000. Okay, 25 frames a second and I can make this as long as I want, I'd say set it to zero. And I'd say about one minute. Just so you can fit it in. Okay, so let's start off by adding a new layer. Layer, new, solid. And what we want to do is you want to make this uh, sort of really light blue. Almost white, but you know, just a little, little bit blue. You want to click OK and OK. So we've got our little white square, whitey blue square, and then if you see this little rectangle tool here, you want to click and drag so you can click on the ellipse tool. Now as long as you've got this selected, all you have to do is double click on the circle, and then you'll get your circle. And now, if you want to make this circle smaller, which we definitely want to do, so you want to click on the mask, double click on it, go to the corner, click and drag, but instead of just clicking and dragging, hold down shift and control and it will drag from the inside and not lose its shape. So I'll make this quite small. Maybe a bit smaller than that. Okay. So, let me got this. Uh, we can duplicate it. And then make this... Let's make this one white. Layer solid settings and make it white. Okay and okay. Now we can just scale this down. And if we tap M twice, MM, then we can feather it. And I think that we'll do the same with this one. Feather it. And we'll duplicate it one more time, put it behind it. And what we'll do is we've got layer, solid settings, and make it more or less a darker blue. But not too dark because we want it to be quite bright. And once again, MM, feather it, and this time we can expand it a little bit. So, we've got our centre of our Chidori, and then we can just bring this all up. Here we are. So, now, of course, what we need is the lightning for the thousand birds of death. So, there, new solid, we're going to be doing quite a lot of this, and make it black. Okay, make sure it's got size, and okay. So, what we want to do now, is we want to select our layer, then we want to type in lightning, and then we see advanced lightning. Now all we need to do is click and drag that on, and we get this lightning effect. So, you just point this to the centre, and as you see, we don't have an ending, we just have it going off forever. So, what you want to do is you want to change it directional to anywhere, because then this sort of brings it out a little bit, and that means it will change its state, and it will go all around, which gives it a nice rounded feel to it. Now this isn't looking very much like Chidori Lightning, so what we need to do is we want to try and colourise it to the same colour as the centre. And all we need to do for that is you can go for core settings, we'll change the core for a really light blue, this one will do, and for our glow settings we'll change it to a sort of slightly greener, not too green blue, this will do fine. Maybe even make it a little bit darker. So let's go for this one. 
Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So we've got one of these. It's not looking too great at the moment. Yeah, so what we need to do is, instead of it having a sudden stop at the end, we want to make it try and look a little bit more subtle. So what we have to do here is just uh, click on Delay Main Core. And that means that it will slowly fade out as it gets further away. So we've got our effect, and just if we just duplicate our advanced lightning, and we can just move the delay of uh, the um, conductivity state around, and then again we can just duplicate our layer, move it around, Ctrl D, click on our layer, Ctrl D, move it around, Ctrl D, move it around. I mean, you can keep on going for as long as you want, for as many as you want. Just the amount of rendering that you want it to do. Remember, these will always be changing, so, you know, it's alright. So then we've got inner bits of lightning. Then we want to go on layer, new, solid, make it black, uh, make it comp size, and OK. Then again, we drag in the advanced lightning. And we need to try and colorize it. So we we'll go to the core settings, and we can, instead of having to find the exact color, we can just click to find the core. And for our glow settings, it was just about to be. We made it a little bit darker. So we've got our core, well, and our outer lightning, but it doesn't look quite right at the moment. So if we go to make the um, sort of things a little bit darker, a little bit. So here we are, one piece of lightning, one main piece of lightning. What we can do with that. I'll type in main, and all you got to do then is just duplicate that, and then move this one over a bit, duplicate this, move this one over a bit. I'll say we have three on the top and three on the bottom, so duplicate it again. Move this one up. Because in Chidori's, we tend to see uh, it coming from the bottom and the top. Kakashi's often comes from the bottom, but sometimes it comes from the top. So depending on who you're doing, you can just change this to wherever you want. And now our glow bit seems a little bit left behind at the moment, so what we've got to do is select them all, and bring that to the top. So we've got Archidori.